Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tara and here on my channel, I teach you guys how to make homemade skincare products. So today I want to answer one of the most probably commonly asked questions that I get in like the comment section. And that question is how you determine the shelf life of a cosmetic. We're gonna be talking about how to figure out the shelf life of a cosmetic you make at home. And it's always really important to mark your cosmetics at home with a shelf life because you don't wanna put a product on your skin that has like mold and bacteria. So always make sure you keep track of the shelf life of your cosmetics you make at home as well. So let's talk about it. How you figure out the shelf life of your cosmetic. So this is actually a really, really really simple procedure. It's like so freaking easy, you guys are going to be amazed. Okay, all you need to do is obviously figure out what all the ingredients are in your product. And I'm sure you already know since you made your product. Figure out the shelf life of all the ingredients you used. Anytime you buy a product from a uh, ingredient supplier, um, they always have the shelf life marked on the bottom of the listing typically. It's always somewhere in the formulating guidelines somewhere. You can always find it and it gives you the shelf life of that ingredient. So that's how you figure out the shelf life of your ingredients individually. So whatever ingredient you're using in your cosmetic, whichever one has the shortest shelf life, that's the shelf life of your product you're making. Yeah, that's, that's how you figure it out. It's super easy. And always make sure you are preserving your product as well because a preservative will help keep your product fresh. It'll help keep it from growing yeast, bacteria, mold. So always use a preservative whenever you can. If you wanna learn more about preservatives and how to preserve a homemade cosmetic, watch my video all about preservatives. I'll link it down below for you guys. So go watch that video if you don't understand preservatives because they're super important to use in your cosmetics. Um, I wanna give a couple more tips when it comes to uh, keeping your ingredients and your products fresh, because now you know how to figure out the shelf life. I just want to give you, you know, a couple more tips. So whenever you purchase an ingredient, like I said, the supplier always supplies you with a shelf life of that ingredient. So I think it's always a good idea when you get new ingredients in, um, always, whenever you open them up, like right on the bottom in Sharpie or something on the bottom of the bottle or on the bag, whatever your ingredient is packaged in, right on there somewhere, the shelf life and the day you opened it. So if I just opened up a bottle of cucumber extract, I would uh, write on the bottom one year and write what day I opened it. That way I know a year from that day I opened it, it'll be bad if I haven't used it up, which most likely it'll already done be used up. So that's also another thing you wanna keep in mind. When you're buying ingredients, it is always better to buy them in bulk because it's gonna be cheaper, but you wanna make sure you're not buying so much that it's gonna go bad. Trust me, I've learned from experience. I have purchased 35 pounds of a carrier oil before and I did not go through it in time, so it just ended up going bad. So yeah, so make sure you're not buying too much to where you're not gonna be able to use it in time because um, that's just a waste of ingredients. So there's nothing wrong with buying a smaller amount at first to kind of figure out how fast you go through it to get a good idea of how much you can really buy at most if that makes any sense to you guys. But yeah, so I hope you guys now understand how to figure out the shelf life of your products. It's super easy. Um, and yeah, make sure you're always storing your ingredients properly as the manufacturer suggests. Some need to be refrigerated. Some are recommended to be in like dark rooms. Typically all of them want to be stored sort of in the dark and at room temperature. That's typically how most ingredients are recommended to be stored. Some of them need to be refrigerated though. So just make sure you're you're reading all that too when you're purchasing new ingredients and yeah so always keep your place sanitary always make sure you have gloves on hair nets maybe even a mask you know just keep everything as sterile and clean as possible when you're making cosmetics and like I said if you don't understand how to use preservatives then definitely watch my video all about preservatives so you know how to keep your cosmetics super fresh but yeah so that's everything I have for you guys today and it was a short video but I think it's very important information especially since I've been asked from you guys so many times how to figure out the shelf life of a cosmetic. Now you know. So now it's time for my Patreon shout outs. So if you didn't know, I do have a Patreon and over there I offer all kinds of stuff. Um, you can get early access to videos. You can get access to my blog where I do blog posts that go right along with my videos. And I actually have um, PDF files you can download whenever I make like a recipe to a cosmetic. 
you can download the recipe and then print it out and then make your own like little booklet of all my recipes that I do. You can also get a shout out at the end of each of my videos. So if you sell cosmetics or something, that's some good publicity. Um, another new thing I'm doing on my Patreon is I'm posting two Patreon exclusive videos a month. So if you want like more content from me and exclusive content, go check out my Patreon, see what I offer. You can always sign up and if you're not getting what you're, you know, you were hoping for, you can always, you know, back out after that. Um, so just keep that in mind. You can always undo your subscription if you're not enjoying my Patreon. Let's let's do the shout outs. So first up we have Herbalist Tracy who owns Essence of Nature. I reviewed her products before. Go watch my review and go check out her products. Next we have Musical Mood Ring who owns Stardust Bath and Body. As of right now her website's not live but you can go over there on Instagram and Follow her over there at Stardust Bath and Body. Next is Nature's Farm Girl who owns naturesfarmgirl.com. Go check out what she sells. Next is Kennedy's Essentials. I've reviewed her products in the past. I'll link that video review down below along with a link to her shop. This next brand I've also done a review over. It is called Let's Blend. Go check them out and go watch my review. Then we have Reese Porter who owns Creative with Love. Go check out what she sells. And last but not least is Wonderful Body Co. which I have done a review over them as well. They sell book inspired bath soaks and foot soaks. So go check them out. I'll the links will be down in my description box. Also, I do sell products myself over on Etsy. I sell all kinds of different stuff, face washes, toners, face masks, retinol serums, moisturizers, all kinds of different serums. So go check out my shop over on Etsy. I'll link it down below and up here so it's easy for you guys to find. So hope you all have a great week and hope to see you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm shattered I'm